I'm on a mission to prove that you can get paid to do the things that you love. And today I'm gonna show you exactly how that works on the golf course. By the end of this video, you're gonna have the knowledge to go out this weekend and start taking the first steps towards getting paid for your hobbies. So where do we start? How about with an introduction? My name is Connor and professionally, I'm a content creator, but I've been golfing for the last three years whenever I have the spare time and I have really fallen in love with the sport. But that's a problem because it's a very expensive sport. Shirt, $50. Pants, $75. Shoes, $250. Hat, $35. Glove, $30. Bag, $300. Clubs, $1,500. Balls, $25. Shanking your first drive 250 yards into the opposite fairway? Priceless. I couldn't afford to be golfing nearly as much as I wished I could, so I tried to figure out how I could get paid to play, or at least get free golf. Now keep in mind, I've only ever broken 90 like three times. And for those of you who aren't golfers, that's average at best. Becoming a professional golfer was not an option. So here's what we're gonna do. Become content creators. That's right. We're gonna start creating videos around the best sport in the world. The return to glory. Now you probably have a couple of hesitations right now, which is totally fair. Hesitation number one. Why the hell would any course wanna pay me to film myself hacking up their fairways? That's a great question. As social media has evolved over the last decade, so has the need for valuable video content. Businesses are always trying to find ways to relate to a bigger audience and stay relevant. And that includes golf courses. This has produced what we now know as the creator economy, which is currently a $104 billion industry. Huge. The best example I can use to explain the value of content creation in golf specifically is Tacomo. Tacomo Golf makes world-class clubs at affordable prices, and they've just begun signing their first sponsorships. So who did they sponsor? PGA pros? Live pros? No. They sponsored golf content creators like PGA memes and Mood Swings Golf and Claire Hoggle. And that is why video content is valuable. Hesitation number two. I have no idea how to do that. It sounds like a ton of work. And where would I even start? I'm gonna break this down into three very actionable steps that literally anyone can complete. All you need is a smartphone. Step number one. The first thing we need to do is start building a social presence and practicing creating content around our chosen hobby. In this case, golf. I would recommend trying this on TikTok or YouTube Shorts to start because they both have algorithms that allow creators with zero following get thousands or even millions of views. And I brought proof to back that up. For this challenge, I've created a brand new TikTok channel called Con Golf. then shot some videos of myself playing a few courses here in Kelowna, BC to start building an audience. I only use my phone for this to prove that all of the video production gear I have isn't even necessary. I also didn't share this account with anyone and let it grow completely organically so truly anybody can do this. Step number two, once you've posted your first 10 or 20 videos and you're beginning to get some engagement and feel confident, you're ready to start pitching yourself. The best way to do this is repetition. Find as many local business businesses as possible and focus on a value-driven proposal. They're gonna wanna know what's in it for them. Also start small. If you're a golfer, exchanging your creative services for a free tea time is a huge win. Okay, my account only has about a thousand followers, but I've had a couple videos that perform pretty well. So I'm gonna use the account as proof of concept to convince a local course to pay me to play around. But here's our next issue. It's winter in Canada and there's literally only one course open and it's an hour away. Looks like we've only got one shot at this. We're gonna need an ace. Okay, so I found the website and I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit nervous now because I looked up the reviews on Google and they're very mixed. So apparently the course is beautiful, but from the reviews that I'm reading, it seems like the owner is difficult. Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> read one of these reviews. If you want a beautiful view and to support a maniac, it's the place to go. Here's a review from T-Guy. If you want to go golfing and get yelled at constantly from start to finish, come here. I've never written a bad review. After my experience here today, I can honestly say no choice but to warn others. Oh my God. An aggressive sign threatening to shoot car salesman at a Penticton golf club has been modified. <laughs> Here's the unfortunate thing. When you go on their website, there's no 
way to contact them apart from a phone number. So I can't even shoot this guy an email, show him links, give him this proof of concept to be like, I have something valuable to offer. I literally just have to talk to him on the phone. So I guess let's just see how it goes. Hi there, is this WoW Golf? Yes. Hi, how's your day going so far? Good. Amazing, your course looks beautiful. I've heard lots of really good things. I just wanted to call to see if you'd be interested in any kind of um, partnership. I'm a Kelowna-based golfer and I run a social media site. Okay. What was that? Meeting right now, meeting, okay? You're in a meeting. He hung up on me. <laughs> not off to a good start at all. This is as bad as it could possibly get. I sent the owner a message which he hasn't replied to yet, so for now, we need to pivot. My second option is a golf simulator that actually just opened right by my apartment. But I'm gonna approach this one with a different strategy that we've actually used a lot with our video production business. Free samples, hear me out. Just like Costco used to do so well, we're going to provide the owner of this golf sim a taste of our offer and hopefully the flavor is intriguing enough for him to order the full course, or at least let us play a whole course. I'll check back in when that video's up. Just when I thought the golf season was over because it's minus 10, there's snow everywhere, these guys show up. I literally have this whole place to myself right now. Oh man, we got a putting green. <laughs> Time to leave Kelowna. I think we should go Pebble Beach. Conditions, let's heat it up a little bit in here. Dry it out, really get that ball flying. Let's go. Okay guys, good news, we got it. Literally the morning after I posted that video, the owner reached out to me asking how we can create more content together and gave me his email. So I sent him a brief proposal which said, I'd like to put together a bit more of a formal content plan that I can work on fulfilling over the winter, but I think I'd be able to manage about one video per week right now. I'm not sure how this would work logistically, but please let me know what you have in mind. Ideally, I'd just be able to have FOB access and book in the less busy hours so I'm not disrupting any other guests. To which he responded, Hey Connor, I am interested. Please send a formal content plan when you can. What I would do is provide you with time in exchange for your efforts. You can access the facility at your leisure. Of course, the less busier is best for me. One a week sounds pretty good to me. I like what I see and really believe this would be a fun fit. I'm always open to suggestions, so please feel free to fire them this way. Happy to meet and go over particulars this week if you find some time. Cheers. <laughs> Which brings us to step number three, get paid to golf. Let's go swing some clubs. We are here at Uptown Golf in Kelowna, BC, and you are about to witness me, a 22 handicapper, play his very first hole of professional golf at one of the most iconic greens in the entire world, the famous 14th floating green at Coeur d'Alene. Let's hope I don't go swimming. 167 yards to the pin, lots of danger in between. We're gonna go eight iron. Over there. All right, we're going swimming. We're on the island. So unfortunately I forgot my putter today. I left it in my apartment. So we're gonna have to see if we can hole out just using the approach. I think I got this. Being a little left to right. So just a nice slow kick out here. See what happens. Bump and run. I'm gonna take off the mitt for extra sensitivity. See how fast these greens are. Perfect line. That's a gimme. We're good for five. Double bogey. I'm gonna take it. I'm not a professional. I'm pretty happy with that. I wanna end this off by summarizing the lesson in this video so you can all take it and start doing more of the things that you love. Step one, learn how to create content. There are millions of hours of footage online that can teach you this extremely valuable skill. Or if you like learning from me, you can join our Find Your Peak Creator course today for less than $100. Step number two, utilize social media apps like TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube to start pitching and sharing what you create with the world. Build your confidence and your audience until you're ready to pitch. Step number three, approach local businesses with your proof of concept. Use the channel you created to show local businesses that you know what you're doing and find somebody who's ready to partner with you. This is gonna take some trial and error, but don't get down on yourself. Just keep going until you make it happen. 
Thank you so much for hanging out and watching this today. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment on what you think I should try as a hobby next time. See you then.